Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another episode of DoCast. In this episode, we're going to cover installing Mobile Shell, otherwise known as Mosh, on your virtual server. And what Mosh is, is a terminal application that allows a more robust and responsive communication with your server when you're on a wireless network of some sort. So if you've ever been to like a Starbucks or a coffee shop of some sort and you're on the Wi-Fi network, if you've ever noticed the latencies that are involved with so many people being on that network and just trying to communicate with your server with your computer, you'll notice that sometimes if you process a command and then you're like, uh oh, I need to stop that and press control C, you'll notice that sometimes it won't stop right away and maybe it won't stop at all because of the latencies. And what Mobile Shell is aiming to accomplish is to make that more responsive. So if you control C within Mobile Shell, it does it immediately on your side and the protocol takes care of stopping it on the server as soon as possible. So it makes using the terminal and communicating with the server on your side a lot more responsive and a lot more clean. So if you want to get into the details of what Mobile Shell is and how it works, I recommend that you take a look at the tech video here. Now watch this tech video, it's super interesting and they explain the differences between you know SSH and Mobile Shell because Mobile Shell is a replacement for SSH. And SSH, traditionally, it works by conveying a bitstream from the server to the client. Whereas Mobile Shell will use a new protocol called State Synchronization Protocol. And you can see that here. Uh, and you can get into the details again by reading how Mosh works and just kind of looking through the article in this page here and getting into the nitty gritty. But again, in this episode, we're going to go over installing Mobile Shell on your server. So when you get to mosh.mit.edu, you'll see the Get Mosh button here. Go ahead and click on that and it'll take you to the Getting Mosh area where you'll see that they have Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora, Arch Linux and all these other systems especially homebrew for your Mac which I recommend you get homebrew and use homebrew if you aren't already it makes installing packages and, and applications super easy on your Mac um, or you could just install Mosh using the Mac package here uh, if you're using Windows I'm sorry but this is more of a Mac operating and uh, Linux a Unix um, kind of thing going on here so one thing you'll notice that isn't here is sent OS and DigitalOcean offers a sent OS image, as you'll see right here. But Mobile Shell doesn't have the sent OS installation listed here. Not to worry though, Moshe has got you covered. If you go to his Google Plus post, you'll see that he's given us an option to install Mosh on the sent OS system. So we use this simple command here along with yum install Mosh and then it'll install Mobile Shell on our sent OS system with just those two commands. So in this episode we're gonna cover installing Mobile Shell on Ubuntu and sent OS. If you want to go ahead and install Mosh on Debian, Fedora, and Arch Linux by all means do so if that's the server that you're running and you can use these commands here to get it installed. Installation is very simple and the ease of use for Mosh is very simple. It's much like SSH. So let's get started. Let's go into DigitalOcean. Let's create our droplet and I'm just going to name it Mosh. Just for example's sake, we'll go ahead and select the smallest size region closest to me. I'll start with Scent OS. And then I'll choose the sent OS 6.4 times 64-bit. Uh, and then I'll create droplet. I'm going to pause this video real quick so that the droplet can create itself. Now that the droplet has created itself, I'll go ahead and I'll SSH into my server using this IP address right here. So if you're using DigitalOcean, you should have been emailed a login for your root access to your server via terminal. So let me go ahead and switch into terminal. I'm going to type ssh root and then the IP address for my server. So I pasted that in. Next, I'll click enter and it's going to ask me for my password. And again, you should have gotten that password via email 
Actually, the first time that you log into your server, you'll notice a authenticity of hosts, and it can't be established. Just go ahead and type in yes, because this is a server that you created, and you want your local host to remember that you're going to be connecting to this server. So I'll just go ahead and type out yes, and click enter. Then I'll go ahead and I'll enter my password, and you'll notice that I am now connected to my server. So I'll clear this up so that it's a little easier to read. And I'm actually within the CentOS operating system right now. So I'll go ahead and I'll demonstrate how to install Mobile Shell on CentOS. All you have to do is type in RPM dash capital U VH and then the URL to this package right here. And I'll go ahead and I'll include this command within the video notes. So let's go ahead and click on enter it retrieved the package for us now all we have to do is yum install mosh alright so it's installing mosh for us and it's gonna ask us if we are okay with the download size I'm gonna type in Y4 ES it's gonna download the packages for us and continue installation and just go through these prompts just clicking yes for each one of them and then it's completed. Now we can check that mobile shell is installed by typing in MOSH-V which is checking the version for mobile shell and just clicking on enter. Alright and you'll see that mobile shell 1.24 has been installed. Now that we've got it installed in CentOS I'm gonna demonstrate how to get it installed within Ubuntu. So let's go ahead and clear out and let's log out of my server. So let's go back into DigitalOcean. We're gonna create another droplet and I'm just gonna name this Mosh2. Leave that there, leave that there. Set it to Ubuntu. Then I'm gonna set it to the latest one, the latest version. But if you go back into Mosh and you take a look at it, it's 10.04 and later. So we should be okay as long as the version is above 10.04. I'm just gonna go ahead and choose the latest one click on create droplet I'll go ahead and I'll pause the video while the droplet installs itself alright so mosh2 has been installed and again I'm gonna take this IP address here and then I'm gonna go back into terminal do SSH and then I'll put root and the URL to my server press enter and then I'll go ahead and I'll just press yes to confirm that I do want to establish a connection. So yes, it's going to ask me for my password. I'll just type in my password. Again, you should have received this password via email. So I'll go ahead and I'll just type that in or paste it in. Then I'll press enter. It'll establish the connection. Now for Ubuntu, what we want to do is we want to go back to the mobile shell website. And we're going to take the commands here and we're gonna copy and paste them into our terminal application real quick. So I'll go ahead and I'll just paste that in as is. I'll run through the prompts here and I'll just say yes to it. And what we're doing is we're installing the dependencies. So let's go ahead and continue to do that. Last but not least, let's go ahead and install it. All right, now just press yes. And then we can check if Mobile Shell is installed on Ubuntu by going Mobile Shell V, and we should have Mosh 1.2.4. All right, so it's super easy to get these installed on the servers. You'll notice that I did skip one of them because the command was not found, and that's related to the version of Ubuntu. So it should be okay without it. It was installed perfectly okay. And what we can do now is we can actually mobile shell into the server so if I go ahead and I log out and I'll go ahead and I'll clear up this window what we'll do is we'll mobile shell into the root with the IP address once again so I'm gonna grab the IP address I'm gonna paste that into here press enter it's gonna ask me for my password just like SSH does and I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna type in my password press enter and I'm connected. It's super easy to do that and I can run some commands. I'll go ahead and I'll use top so that I can see what's running on the server. I'll go ahead and I'll just press you know, control C and I'll get right out of that. Um, we'll clear that up. Mosh is super easy for just a variety of things. Um, again it's super great if you're on a network of some sort that has some latencies. You may not notice it right now because I'm actually using a very fast internet speed but 
you'll notice it greatly again if you're on a wireless network with a lot of latencies so I can go ahead and I can log out just like with SSH all the commands are the same you're just using a different type of protocol so I hope mobile shell helps you out if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below I look forward to hearing from you guys and again I hope this has helped you